program with our latest project. It's my personal Mark IV 2004 R32. It's the R that started it all for Volkswagen. The original Mark IV with the VR6 all-wheel drive. And over the next couple months, we'll be working with it. We're going to be installing a HPA turbo kit with using their Borg and Warner 7670 turbo. And we'll be hopefully bringing it up to around the 400 horsepower mark. We've built a couple HPA cars over the past few years because we are the HPA dealer for Ontario. We've done a Mark VI with the KL4 turbo kit as well as we've done a Mark 7 r with the IS38 turbo that was above our expectation when it came to power. But now we're going to be working with this. It's going to be our first VR6 turbo uh, project here at Euromotive. So watch out for it as uh, we post the progress on it. down process of installing the turbo kit so we've taken the head off we've because we took the head off we had to get it ready for a head spacer and since we did that we might as well we popped out the pistons we're gonna repit re-ring it and put race rod bearings in now you may ask why do you have to go this far for a turbo kit well you don't need to pull the pistons out but in this case we did Seeing that the car has 235,000 kilometers, 15 years old, you're there, go the extra mile and do that. But the reason the head had to come off is because the R32s were never turbocharged. Because of that, the compression's higher. Now, when you turbocharge something, you gotta bring that compression lower because you're gonna have forced air coming in. So you have to put a head spacer in. And that's why the head has to come off. When we did the uh, Golf R build and the Mark VI GTI build, they're already turbocharged. So the compression's already lower from factory. You're just adding a little bit of extra boost. So this is what we're doing here. We have it all torn down. We're waiting for our parts to come from HPA. And then we can start building it up. Our next step would be to uh, put the rod bearings in with the pistons that have been re-ringed. And then uh, we'll, at that point, we'll take the transmission off, as well take all the timing covers off and redo all the timing chains. Again, with a car 15 years old, we're here, we should do it. Don't cut corners. We're gonna do the timing chains, guides, and as well, something else common, if you look up here in the front, this is something that cracks on all the VR6s. It's a plastic coolant pipe referred to as the crack pipe that runs behind the water pump and goes to the back of the water flange on the side. Since we're here, we have an aluminum one ready to go in and we'll do it at the same time. Then once that's all put together, then we can start the actual turbo kit, which is the turbo manifold, the turbo, the downpipe, and build from there. As well, something else we'll be doing on this car is putting high flow cats in uh, to let everything flow out nicely. And that's, that's close to the end of the project by the time we get to that. So 
We went to HPA because HPA has been around these cars a long time. They know and been working with and developing so much for this VR6 motor. They're the best guys to be able to come up with this kit. So we're going to put a HPA EFR 7670 kit in it, which is the Borgen Warner 76 tur 7670 Turbo. And it should put out around the 400 to 450, I'm going to guess, horsepower. That's at the crank. And anything more than that, we have to upgrade the fuel system and do some other things to get into the 500 horsepower part. But for now, we're just gonna do that. There's different kits you can go with, with HPA. You could start with the DTM 350, which is a direct turbo to manifold kit. It's not intercooled, it's seven pounds of boost. And it comes right out of the turbo and the silicone hose goes right into the factory intake, no intercooling, which gives you about 350, 360 horsepower, give or take. Then the next step up would be intercooled. Now, what's nice about HPA's intercooled uh, kits that they have, is it's direct to the manifold. And after the direct to manifold, we have liquid to air intercoolers that could be added that would give you more horsepower because you're cooling that air going into the intake, which you can increase your boost with after. So, on this car, we're doing a liquid to air intercooler. We're gonna put a heat exchanger up here that cools the liquid that will cool the air in the intercooler, which will sit right here where the air box and the battery would be. The open air filter would sit here behind the headlight and the battery would be relocated to the trunk. Now, if you were looking at getting a turbo kit for an R32 or anything that has the 3.2 VR6, or if you just want to upgrade your 2 liter turbo uh, TSI or TFSI motor, go on to, your, to uh, HPA's website, see the kit that you would like, give us a call, ask some questions, and we can gladly let the price one out for you, or email HPA directly. Anything you would like to ask, feel free to, and uh, we look forward to uh, giving you some more information on this build once we get the parts in.